Oh, it's beautiful. I'm sorry I even interrupted. I was just giving you the get out in case there was no more. But welcome back, everybody, to Anderson's TV, where uh, the wonderful uh, Dave Simpson is here with us today. Uh, because we are yet again attempting to get tones, classic tones of a famous guitar player from affordable gear. And today's guitar player, if you haven't already worked it out, is Mr. Dave. The my signature tone. Yes. We're going there. We're going John Mayer today. <laughs> um, often imitated, never equaled, in my humble opinion. Um, Gear-wise, as you might have worked out from doing these, uh, watching some of the videos that Dave has done with us before, we're not really too interested in the amplifier and the guitar. No. We kind of go, as long as it's affordable and it can get an okay clean sound, that's where we're at. So we've used a Fender Champion 50XL, which actually in fairness is a very, very good clean sound. Uh, one like of the it. best ones if you're shopping on a budget. Mm -hmm. And as long as the guitar is kind of, again, in the ballpark, uh, that's fine as well. And of course, John Mayer played Strats for mm -hmm. many, many moons before being tempted away by the uh, wonders of PRS. Uh, but it's still a three single coil kind of thing. And mm -hmm. that is basically what he plays. Neat. Hoof. Pedals wise, where yeah. do you start? What era of Monsieur Mayer are we going for, Dave? Got to be the Continuum era. Uh, that's the era that kind of made me go really stand up and pay attention to him as a player. Because before that, you had like uh, great guitarists before that with you know stuff like Neon and, and the Room Squares album and stuff like that. But Continuum felt to me that like that was John being allowed to be John. Like, in my opinion, like it, without any kind of like interference from record companies saying, oh, we want more pop stuff, we want more of this one. It was just John in a studio going, I'm going to do what I want to do. And, and then you get stuff like, yeah, Slow Dance in the Bone Room, Gravity, all those. I think that was, for me, awesome can, can, I actually like Heavier Things, Room for Squares, mm. Continuum. I feel like it's like the two albums before are just kind of, they're just on the journey to the crescendo yeah. of possibly like the greatest, one of the greatest, very guitar centric albums, mm. pop guitar, I suppose. It's really, you know, it's like yeah. albums of all time. And then I kind of feel that John Mayer just went, yep, smash that, now off to do different <laughs> things. You know, exactly, so it's just yeah. like the, the after Continuum, it really felt like things went in different directions. Mm. Anyway. I agree. So how do we put this board together? Again, the rules are everything has to be affordable, and I guess that's a relative term, but mm. you know, typically the pedals here are gonna be 50 quid kind of money, some a little more, some a little less. Um, difficult to, you know, you look at John Mayer's pedal board mm. and it's got every kind of conceivable pedal that there is, and then yes. you listen to him play and you go, I don't know where he actually would use that or that or that or that. Mm. So we've got here, Couple of tube screamers, because we know he likes a tube screamer. I say tube screamers. I mean, they're one is and one's a clone. We've got a couple of clon clones. Clon clones, because of course, again, we know he likes a clon. Mm -hmm. We've got a blues breaker kind of vibe pedal. I don't know if, I mean, I've seen him use them, but mm -hmm. whether that's a signature Mayer thing, I don't know. We've got a compressor because it has the word gravity in it. Always and, very important. you know, he's, known for that big kind of clean sound. Mm -hmm. We've got two delay pedals. One digital delay, one analog delay mm -hmm. uh, to sort of go, is there a vibe of one better than another? Uh, he uses that Aquapus delay, yes. which is the sort of analog delay mm. with a bit of modulation on it. We've got a funny boy. Of course we have, because basically because um, <clears throat> in the previous video, we got some really kind of really cool sounds. envelope filter yeah. kind of vibe sounds mm. and the um i've got to say the one pedal we don't have today which is a real bummer because it, it would have been a go-to pedal for this we don't have the the electro harmonics micro q yeah uh which would have been another obvious pedal to try and get that kind of uh, rosy um 
vibe. Mm -hmm. What's the, I don't, um, uh, I don't I love don't myself. Trust myself. I don't, don't trust myself. You. I don't love myself either or trust myself. <laughs> do. Um, that kind of vibey sound. Then we've got a, a buffer boost. This came up, I know, again, I've seen the Katana boost pedal mm. on John Mayer's board for a long time. Uh, and that's some sort of a relatively clean JFET uh, boost, as apparently is the, the Fender level set buffer. And then uh, we've got the Wampler psychosomatic drive, which I haven't used for ages. Mm -hmm. But typically, if you just need that extra something and you're not really sure what it is, mm -hmm. but when you switch it on, you know it's there. Indeed. That's what the Wampler gives you. The so Sprinklings on top of the ice cream. Where shall we start? Mr. Dave. Um, I'm thinking overdrive to start with. Something like uh, maybe Tube Screamers to start with, and then maybe clones and maybe blues breakery kind of things. Just kind of get that solo. I'll tell you tone. what I can do. I could put all five. Ooh. And we can just kind of see is there a sense? Now, I might have to refer to the adjudicator, Mr. Pete, here. Are we clon into Tube Screamer or are we Tube Screamer into clon if you're John Mayer? It's clone into tube screen, isn't it? Well, let's have a look. <laughs> we might find it's your way round for us. Who knows? Who knows? Heavens above, Dave. What has happened here? We've introduced uh, a blues driver. Um, yes. We've had copious discussions about is it clons into tube screamers or is it tube screamers into clons? We've realized that what we thought was the on off switch on the fender level set buffer is actually a mute switch. Mm -hmm. So I've had to loop this in using a different kind of switching box to show us what it sounds like with it on or off. Um, and um, yes, but now I think we're ready to go. Mm -hmm. So this is our tone sans pedals. Yes. And I'm loving the fact that Dave has m created this new <laughs> guitar player called John Mayer for Shanty. Mm. Um, but too so that's it. But yes, yeah, so that's that's a great Fender clean sound. And mm. to be totally honest with you, you could do a lot worse trying to sound like John Mayer Definitely. without having any of these pedals <laughs> yeah. and just buying an amp with a nice clean tone like mm -hmm. that. Um, in, I guess we'll just go through it in order and we'll yeah. see. But the, the, the trick here, I'm convinced, is going to be combinations. Uh, so this level buffer thing, level set buffer thing, doesn't do a great deal in terms of tone. So here's without. That's with. When it's green, it's with. When okay. it's red, it's without. It just kicks it up a little bit. So the, the, the vibe with a buffer, if you've mm. got a lot of cable yeah. and potentially uh, you're hearing that loss of, of t uh, treble, uh, you can use a buffer to yeah. kind of, you know, change the impedance and reintroduce that kind of treble. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure we're using enough cable uh, for it to, to, to hear that, but it, there is a level control here. So, that, you know, if we wanted that sense of always on, slightly fatter, uh, we could just leave that on, to be totally honest. <laughs> It's, it just kind of it does add a little bit more kick in the front end. Yep. Yeah. Uh, right. So the first pedal I think we're going to go to is the blues driver, and see. We'll just start with everything on twelve, mm -hmm. and just see what kind of Mayer vibe are you going for? Uh, with? Kind of mild overdrive, just a little bit darker than the actual clean tone, but that kind of real. <laughs> yeah, a little, oh, like hello. less tone on that. <laughs> less tone. Yeah, like bring tone mm -hmm. down to about maybe. <laughs> So it's all like, it seems, seems to be a little bit darker than that as well, yeah. Quite cool. So that's the mm. blues driver. If I have slightly less gain, does it does it do a more? That's quite close to that kind of bold so, so, kind of yeah. that kind of thing. It's I like that. I mm. like that sort of edge of breakup tone. That we might 
reintroduce yes. somewhere else in the mix because it kind of feels like that might be a good rhythm tone. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so the first of our two Klon clones is the Tone City Bad Horse. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I've ever really... Well, the Klon thing is difficult, isn't it? Where, yeah, did, yeah, where yeah. do you set it to get that? I didn't... Didn't remind me terribly of John Mayer. No, like it, more gain like this. Yeah, try that. No, I mean I, I think more gain was better than yeah, less gain. Yeah. Uh, the Zeus by TC, another uh, more recent clone clone. I want more than the bad horse. Okay, that's got two modes. Fat mode, which is this one. Very or fat. not fat. Mm. Fat, not... I kind of I think, prefer I think we need to go for a song. Yeah. I think we need to go for a John Mayer song and mm. dial in a tone for that song. Because they're, they're... Yeah. He's such an identifiable lick player. Yeah. That I sort of feel if you play someone else's licks, even with it's his pedal board, it just yeah. sort of sounds like someone else. Yeah, it's, like, it, um, yeah, it's like kind of a belief kind of song. Oh, what's the uh, slow dancing and burning room all this? Um, oh, I can't remember it. Oh! Oh, I can't. I can't think of solos now. It's, all, it's under pressure now. This is what happens. The red light goes on. Yep. Let's go to the um, the, choo the first of the two screen ones. Mm. The East River Drive by Electro Harmonics. It does the tube screen thing. But I think it's... I think I hear more. Of that continuum John Mary thing yeah. with that kind of pedal than with either of these two. Oh, but, I do. Uh, and then the uh, mini tube screamer. Mm. It that those those two sound more like that kind of thing yeah. to me than that. And then mm. finally, uh, we've got this blues man thang, which uh -huh. is which might be, oh, it's blues breakery, so it's not really like the blues driver as such, but we'll see where that goes. Seems a bit too kind of bright. But I don't know if that's just me. I'm gonna it's put, a lot like that. I'm going to put this one at the end mm. and see what happens when we do ah, these yes. into this. Yeah. Okay, so this hopefully is some sort of rhythmy mayor tone. So if we yeah. just... That sounds close to that, uh, the solos that I can't remember because I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm under the pressure now. That sounds a lot like that continuum kind of sound to me. Yes, it's that it's that overdriven sound that doesn't sound terribly overdriven. Yeah. It's yeah. like a weird thing that happens. Mm. I think there's a sound going on here. Um, I, I kind of, you know, I've, I've always felt Clons into very clean amplifiers have never really been my yeah. cup of tea. Yeah. Uh, but now we're doing a clon style pedal into a slightly driven pedal. So hopefully mm. getting a bit closer. Yeah. Um, just play, keep playing with that until you're mm. sort of, you know, something will come to you. Yeah. 
I think mm. the Zeus is going to make it onto the floor. Yeah. And now we've got to choose one of these. Mm -hmm. um, ah, Steve Ray Vaughan. That, that, does, that does kind of scream Steve Ray Vaughan <laughs> to me in a kind of uh, non John Mayer way. It's definitely the Zeus. It's more, that's more Mayer, isn't it? It is, I, yeah. Let's try the Tube Screamer. Mm -hmm. Is it a nice kind of sustained, but yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm sort of, what about uh, all three? It's a very I controllable he, I don't think he ever goes that heavy, does he? No, but it's uh, nice. <laughs> and I'm just going to literally, so I'm going to lose this one for now and lose this one for now and also just i think mm. just swap the order of these round um and whether or not the tube screamer still has a part to play as almost like a clean boost thing who knows where we're going here crikey we're sort of moving further over to the left of the table <laughs> hopefully hopefully i haven't gone off camera yet uh, yes, I apologise about the mess. Looks like Oz's bedroom, basically. Not, <laughs> not that I know that. I've just heard from his mother. Um, right. Uh, here we go. Here's okay. the tube screen. I, 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 you know what? I like the tube screamer, yeah. clean into the amp, not into the blues driver. Yeah. And then I kind of like this combination of yeah. the two for a different sound. Definitely. So, it, the, so the, the Zeus and the blues driver are a bit more kind of oomph. And yes. The, the, the tube screamer is just a little bit over the. Over the I don't know what it is. It's not. Yes, yeah, I agree. But mm. so just have a, Let me fiddle around. If you play, mm. and I'll. Yep. It is, these three pedals are going to make it on mm -hmm. the floor, but absolutely, it's this one on its own, yep, well this one on its own, mm -hmm. or this one into this one, like yep. these two together, is, yep. is a sound. So we might as well now, if you've not seen these videos before, what ends up happening is we kind of build a little board on the floor for Dave, and then mm -hmm. Dave kind of plays them all at the end. So I'm really not entirely sure that the buffer is making any difference at all. No. In fact, can we just determine that again? If yep. I just turn like a couple of things on and we'll just yep. see what happens. Um, no, not making any difference at all unless I just turn the volume up and then it's a bit yeah. sort of a pointless extra boost. So, here you are Dave, your first three here pedals for the board coming in. Okay, Mr. Dave. Um, okay. Really, the only purpose here is to say, uh, are we going to get a closer kind of Maya sound with an mm. analog delay pedal or with a digital delay pedal? Mm -hmm. uh, so we shall start with, obviously you can put any of your drive pedals on that uh -huh. you really want to. What we've got in terms of the chain is Dave's going into his drive pedals, then into the delay pedals and then into the amplifier. Um, let's just see what this one sounds like. What mm. sort of delay, What again, what track, what kind of delay vibe are we going for? I would say it just wants to be kind of like a subtle, kind of soul-y kind of thing, but not nothing drastic like, like, ah, over the top kind G of like... Give us a stab and tell of, us yeah. whether you want... Yeah, something like that, actually. We're, we're, so it's just, we're just kind of like those... Uh, maybe kind of like a bit more on the, uh, the, the time and a uh, bit... Like yeah. Yeah, so just just to just to like just to spread it out a bit. A bit. Yeah. yeah. So when you're kind of doing those kind of yeah. 
Those okay, so that's the flat, and now I'll try and replicate something similar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we try the uh, Echo Brain now, kind mm -hmm. of, I've tried to set it to a similar kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. Definitely, the, the flashback seems to just be a bit more giving to the sound, whereas the echo brain kind of sort of takes a bit away. It's, it's, kind it's of a bit funny, dark. isn't it? The, the, I mean, the echo push that, that John Mayer typically uses for a delay is an analog delay, mm. but it's a much more expensive analog delay than this one. So, but yeah. if you just do that stab, mm -hmm. and you can hear that the mm. repeats are not like a crystal clear copy of the mm. original guitar tone, whereas on a digital delay, I know we've got the delay times a little different there, but you can hear they're designed to be mm. like, or not designed, that's the nature of the pedal, really. Um, I'm a bit disappointed with the Echo Brain. I was kind of feeling like, given mm. that John Mayer uses an analog delay pedal, maybe I just want to feel like, yeah. you know, we've given it its fair dues. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice on the slower stuff because it just it adds that kind of kind of to the back of it. But it, it, I still like the, the flashback. You still like the flashback. Kind of soul, yeah, I mean, I think I do as well. Mm. It's getting a bit boring. This flashback. It just wins every time, doesn't it? But hey ho! Shambula. I guess that's what good pedals do. Right. Mm. Have a uh, have a delay pedal to okay. put in your much. mix. Now we've got a compressor and we've got the Noisy Boy and we've got the Psychosomatic Drive, which just is an instant, that'll just be in it anyway, because it works. Mm -hmm. uh, let's try the compressor, okay. which obviously now we need to go in the front of your... Oh, uh, yes. In fact, you might as well just have these yeah. last two pedals. Now, I would suggest that we go like that into the front of the Tube yes. Screamer. That makes sense. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Right, Dave's got his pedal board here, his John Mayer pedal board. There are a couple of pedals on here we haven't really shown you yet. So the compressor is on there. I'm not really mm. sure. Again, it's no. like, um, I sort of feel like you could use a compressor in mm. some of those continuum songs because it would, you know, if you had, were playing like a rhythm part that, you know, you didn't want yeah. the dynamics so much, you just wanted that. So let's just, let's try Can something. I, maybe something like... So that if we didn't have the compressor yeah. on, what would that sound like? It actually kind of makes it it's pop more, a bit more, doesn't it? I don't know. I think it's more John Mayer without the compressor. Yeah, it's a bit I, more I think mild, we might have just have, Maybe we've just got too much on. It, it just it kind of goes, hello, I'm yeah, alive. It is. It's kind of a bit more mild without it. It does mm. it, it kind of eases back a bit. It's not so... It does, I don't, I don't like the way it makes the G string kind of all of a sudden go boom. You like, so you like it with it? Uh, no, I like it without. Like it without, uh, I don't like yeah, it yeah. When, it, when it kicks no, in, I, it kind I, of... I, maybe, look, I mean, I'm trying to think now whether there is a compressor on John Mayer's board. Mm. I'm sure there is. But I agree, it's, it is not necessary for mm -hmm. this particular demonstration. Uh, no. The Funny Boy. Yes. So this is the one where uh, Dave and I were messing around earlier on trying to get it to sound like... Uh, oh, apparently Pete says he does have a compressor on his board. Yes. He's just got a very expensive one. He's got the Origin FX compressor, uh, oh, by quirky. the looks of things. So the Funny Boy does this auto wah envelope filter thang, mm -hmm. which of course he doesn't use, you know, it's a real signature tone. You can't play that kind of I don't trust myself or rosy type tunes and get that authentic tone unless you've got 
a pedal that's going to do that envelope filter thing. So let's yeah. see. So we got kind of got bit back here. So it's not far away, but it's not quite there. It's, it's not quite there. I, I feel like there is, so the way that the, the funny boy works is uh, you've got a, um, a sensitivity control that kind of defines how hard you have to pick to trigger the envelope effect. And then you've got these resonance and bias controls that kind of affect what happens to the note uh, as that kind of envelope filter triggers. Mm. That sort of what sort of sound. Mm. And I think where Dave and I were sort of messing around before is it's, you've really got to play to the pedal. You've got mm. to know, yeah. uh, you know, are you, are you going to pick hard? Are you going to use a pick? Are you going to use your fingers? You yeah. know, all that kind of stuff and just find the spot where it does its thing. I kind of think you're close. I kind of still feel like it just wants to do a bit yeah. more. What if you play that with a pick? So we go. Uh, I think it's just, it just needs to be picked harder. The it guitar does, just needs it? to be picked yeah. slightly harder to trigger the envelope and then it's kind of yeah. doing its thing and i think that the the uh, electro harmonics dr q which is the uh, pedal that you often see on john's board is it's the same idea it's still attack mm. sensitive so you've still got to know how to play to the pedal you can't just turn the pedal on and magically it does, it does it its does. thing yeah. you've still got to find its sweet spot mm. so i think that's staying because i kind of yeah, feel like, like it. for that tone that's i mean i'm must admit i'm saying to dave I think we've had the funny boy in the sale for about the last two months because we're not really sure exactly uh, what it does. Uh, and in the last two videos, we've got basically a Mark Knopfler tone, a John Mayer tone, and a Coctois kind of slash tone. Yeah. So maybe it'll come out the sale because <laughs> maybe we'll start selling some. Um, so I'm going to leave you now, uh, okay. Dave, to just do you know some two or three recognisable John mm -hmm. Mayer riffs, uh, and we'll see how close you get. Okay. So, no, with we'll whatever start, pedals, yeah, you yeah, just we'll start with clean, and then just okay. go from uh, go from there. That's insane. That's a... Uh, Play Axis Bolded Love or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that, that is very that, isn't it? Oh, that's probably... We're, we're Maybe without, without that. that. the Zeus over the top just for sort of, you know, mm. if you wanted to fatten that up for a lead. Yeah, I mean, if you're was it, it's a... Uh... Yeah, just, just the Zeus, not the yeah, Tube Screamer the as well. The Screamer just goes, ah! Yeah, it's too much. That's really that's a really nice combination. I like those, especially with the uh, the flashback as well. It just gives you a bit more of that, especially on the high end. Yeah. 
It's just, that's, I like that. It's, it kind of just gives you a kind of Steve Ray Vaughan-y, John Mary thing. I think you're you're ninety nine point nine percent there. It but, needs, but it needs that. It, if you want to get one hundred percent there, so let's just here we go again. So. That's it. That's it. There we are. <laughs> well, look, there you go. I enjoyed that. Um, a, a selection of highly affordable pedals uh, that hopefully will get you in that kind of John Mayer ballpark mm -hmm. uh, with a reasonable repertoire of, of the sort of stuff that he was doing around about 2010 yep. um, and just before. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, links below to all the pedals. Cool. Thank you very much for coming down, Dave. It's Thank been a pleasure. Um, if you're enjoying this little mini series of videos that we're doing with Dave uh, and you've got some other artists you want to suggest uh, that we might try and do this uh, crazy pedal affordable thing for, then comment below, please, and we'll do our best. Uh, but Dave, mm -hmm. it's been a pleasure. Likewise. Thank, Thank you very much do. for coming down. Thank yes. you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe uh, and we'll see you next time. Au revoir.